I want to show you how you can use the IntelliJ IDE to create your serverless application. And uh, to do that, uh, you can come to File, click on Settings. From Settings, you go to Plugins. And then you can type AWS. There is no AWS plugin, but you can click on search in marketplace. Marketplace AWS, you will find the AWS toolkit. Then you click on install. And the, the AWS toolkit will be installed on your IntelliJ. Then you click on Restart IDE. Confirm. Once you have your IDE open, IntelliJ open, you click on File, New Project. And in this new project, you will have a, an option to create a AWS serverless application. If it don't, does not appear in, on the, this menu, you can type the AWS, but it's already here. And there is an option to create a serverless, serverless application. Click on Next. And should give you a name for your serverless project. I will put in my serverless app. Uh, runtime will be Java 8. The template will be the Hello World. And the SDK will be 1.8. Then you can click on Finish. So the plugin cre created for you a serverless application, a template for your serverless application. Uh, on Lambda, you have the app. That is the, the Lambda function itself. It uh, implements this request handler and uh, implement this method handle request. In this method, you, you will put your business logic. And uh, also, there is a template for for the gateway response. So uh, you don't need to create your test from the scratch because uh, the AWS toolkit will create a template for your tests. And you can see there is a pond.xml. So uh, let's see. What is missing to this application be completed or be deployed? You can here or in view tools and in tools you can see uh, AWS Explorer. In AWS Explorer, uh, there is nothing here because uh, our AWS account is not the uh, configured yet. So clicking on configure AWS connection and uh, I will edit the credential file. So there, there is no uh, config file here. So you click on create and here's, here is a template for you to create the uh, AWS configuration. Um, it, IntelliJ is asking if I, you want to edit this file. Yes, we want to edit this file. Now you have to configure the access. So uh, you should have an account, account, and you also should have a, a user. In, it's, a, it's a good practice to to create a specific user 
for specific tasks on AWS. So uh, how came here? Can came here on uh, console IAM to, to uh, is the access manager. I will create create a new user for this test. So click on add user. This user, I will create this user only for this test. Test user two. Uh, I want this user only to programmatic access. This option, management console access. This user will not uh, make login on the console. Click on next permissions. Uh, I will import permission from other group, will be the, this other test group. And next, you can put some tag here and go next to review and create user. And it's important to know that this user you be was created to be deleted as soon as I finish this test. So uh, I'm not concerned too much about the, the credential because it will be deleted. I will copy this credential. And the access key goes here. Access key goes here. Closing this configuration, and now uh, let's try to see if he, the account is connected. Let's try to make a deploy here. You click it with the right button on the most high level folder on the project, and then deploy serverless application. There is a message here that the, the credentials are not configured. So let's click here. Edit AWS credential file. This. Let's click, click on configure, edit credential. Credential is okay. Let's close. What you can do is to compile the project. You can come all here on Maven. Here is the project. Let's click on clean install. Load more. Clicking Maven clean install. 